What's good, YouTube? Of course, a Kobe here. How have you guys been? I hope you've been doing well. I had to wait for new headphones to come because mine were not working anymore. The battery finally went out on them and they wouldn't hold a charge. So, I was waiting for that. That's why I haven't been making videos because my headphones have been screwed up. So, I'm glad to be back for you guys. I hope that you guys are doing well. Like I said, we got a request from Heidi to start the night out. This is Southern Sun's Heart in Danger. She wanted a live version. So, we're going to get into this for you guys. I'm excited to check out a band that we haven't really checked out on the channel yet. We get into a lot of bands on here. So, you guys know we have plenty to dive into and i appreciate you guys tuning in if you're new here go ahead and subscribe for me we talk about mental health addiction world issues everything in between break down all the lyrics the instrumentation stage performance lighting the setup of the stage i like really going the whole nine yards and busting everything down especially in a live setting they do a lot of cool stuff on stage and everything like that so i just like talking about all the meanings and the lyrics and breaking all of that down we have an opportunity to discuss many topics that I think are important, especially when it comes to mental health and addiction, those sorts of things. I like to encourage everybody in every video to please go get professional help if you need it. It's available. There are people who want to see you do better. I'm somebody that pulled myself out of those things with alcoholism and addiction to hard drugs. It was a very difficult time for me, and I'm just glad to be here and to be able to spread that motivation to some other people who might be needing it inside of their life because I truly understand how hard that struggle is and what it takes to really pull yourself out of it at the end of the day. It's not an easy process, but you can live a better life for yourself. You can get out there and inspire other people to do the same thing, live out all your goals without vices holding you back. And that's the whole point of it, man. It's to help other people that are going through it and to also achieve your own goals that you were once held back from. And I hope that you guys see this video and if you're going through that, you take the opportunity to do that for yourself. I love you guys. We're going to get into this for you. I'm Vikas Akavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. We got Southern Sun's Heart in Danger, the live version. I have to find my headphones over here. <laughs> there they are. Hello out there. <laughs> Sounds pretty. That, that intro was really pretty. I like the effects that were on the guitar and the way it was picking up the chords. Real psychedelic, like really wavy. I like that. And then it kicked up here. We got into that nice singing and now we're kicking it into a rock vibe. But they, these lyrics, he says, all of my life I stood outside the circle, right outside the circle. Being so wrong somehow felt right. Who needs to belong? That feeling was so strong. Mmm. Mmm. Talking about the circle, like the in circle almost, right? Being in the know or that sort of thing is what he could be alluding to. Being so wrong, somehow it felt right. Mm hmm. Who needs to belong? That feeling was so strong. Yeah. 
it's feel it's all it's about feeling left out that's what it is talking about feeling left out and not being inside of the inner circle is what he's talking about in that part right there i like the vibe of the instruments like i said and we're about to kick it up a notch here with the energy of it as well so we will see what they give us in the rest of this These lyrics are nice. I like the lyrics. Very well written. And the vibe of this song is so nice. It's like, kind of reminds me of like, it's got like a U2 kind of vibe, doesn't it? That sort of like, really soft rock kind of feeling with the nice singing, but a lot of great vocalization and rasp added into it as well. And it's just a very driving kind of sound like you would put this on in the car whenever you're cruising down the highway and shit like that that's the vibe that this song has i like songs like this it has a very classic sound to it so wearing me down turning me round the strongest of intentions fade into convention mm. okay i'm not sure if my heart still knows the place where i wanted to go wow Oh, wow. He's saying, <coughs> I don't know if I wanted to actually go where I thought I wanted to go. That's what he's saying right there. Mm. My heart doesn't know anymore, he says. Strongest of intentions fade into convention. Mm-hmm. I got you. Damn, man. It's about questioning where your heart wants to go is what he's talking about. Heart and danger, it makes sense, right? He's questioning the intentions and where he wanted to end up with all of it inside of life. It could be about anything. He could be thinking about anything, just life in general, as a general viewpoint on his life. But feeling outside of the circle, feeling like he didn't belong, and now he's not even sure of where his heart wants to go. That is deep right there. Man, I like songs like this. Change direction, dig up my life every day. I feel my heart in danger and I need to hide away. Okay. chorus is awesome i really like that chorus a whole lot making me change direction taking my life every day i feel my heart in danger and i need to hide away watching my best intentions fading away every day i feel my heart in danger and i need to hide away he says mm. he's saying i need to go work on myself that's what he's saying. Making me change direction, taking my life every day. Saying every day feels like it could be the end for me, essentially, is what he's saying. I feel my heart in danger and I need to hide away. Yeah. Watching my best intentions fading away every day, he says. He's like, I'm, I feel cold. That's what he's saying. He's like, I'm feeling cold and heartless inside of this life. I can feel that my heart is in danger. I need to hide away. He's saying I need to get away and I need to think. I need to work on myself and all of that. That's what he's getting at right there. Wow. The limelight. He could be singing about the limelight, right? Just being in front of people as a public figure, as an artist and everything like that. Could be singing about past experiences in the career. 
of being an artist as well and how it's easy to feel outside of things and not welcome inside of the music industry and stuff could be singing about that as well mm. best intentions fading away every day from the stress and everything involved in that kind of life yeah it would make sense if that's what's a, what it's about actually that would really make a lot of sense if that was what this song was about it was the music career itself and the feelings that go inside of it oftentimes but if you generalize it to life it just involves everything the personal relationships the business aspect of life right making something of yourself having the best intentions inside of it but he's watching his slip away inside of this song right here man always a fight while stand out in the storm so easy to I like that backdrop the lighting is nice fearful of rejection satisfied with imperfection says living alone is always a fight mm, living alone is always a fight he says ah he might be talking about a relationship <laughs> living alone alludes to somebody once being there right why stand out in the storm it's so easy to conform mm. Mm. wow Wow, <laughs> that's powerful. I like that one. That reminds me of literally that exact thing has been said to me by people in my life before. Like, why don't you just go with the status quo? Like, why do you want everything to be so controversial and like fucking extra large, you know? <laughs> <laughs> go with the status quo just go along with it fall into line right and that's what they try to do to artists inside of the industry and if you're in a relationship with somebody they might try to do that to you as well if you're a more outspoken and a bold-headed kind of person with whatever you do in life that's what he's talking about living a wow Living alone is always a fight. Why stand out in a storm? It's so easy to conform, man. The highest of hopes slowly come down. Fearful of rejection, satisfied with imperfection. Wow. Wow. He's saying if you're not telling the complete truth and what it is that you have to say because of your fear of rejection, then the hope will begin to come down because you're not actually speaking your truth inside of what it is that you're saying and that oh wow he's talking about how conformity ruins the heart oh wow that is deep right there you're satisfied with imperfection the reason it's imperfect is because it's not what you want it to be deep down inside right what I thought was truly mine is somehow slipping away. I think that's talking about a relationship in this section of the song right here. It sounds like a relationship. Whew. Wow. That is crazy, dude. I had He's had high hopes. Hmm. And living alone, he feels inside of a storm, so conformity to him would be actually stepping outside of that and fucking going for somebody. But his fear of rejection has left him satisfied with imperfection. That is wildly written. That's really well written right there. 
I love stuff like this. You guys know that you really have to peel back the layers to figure out the deeper meaning of all of it. And this is really deep. <sighs> he lives inside of the corrosion of conformity. But his highest hopes tumble down when he won't step into the circle. Because to step into the love and the specific kind of life that he's thinking of in this song, he has to go inside of the circle a little bit. But he doesn't want to. And his fear of rejection from everybody that's inside of there has made him okay with the imperfection that he feels deep down inside. I think that's relatable to a lot of people because a lot of people fear rejection and don't take opportunities because of it. When in reality, if you just take a risk, you'll change your life forever the first time you ever do it and you'll surprise yourself on the other side of it. I've learned that every risk I ever took in my life even though it might have caused a little bit of fucking chaos, came with a very valuable lesson and oftentimes a great scenario, too. It just depends. Some of them turned out terrible, and that was the lessons learned. But some of those scenarios turned out great and were worth the risk and stepping into the circle a little bit, so to speak. You guys know what I mean. I know you guys know exactly what I, I'm talking about here. You guys have definitely experienced a lot, those of you that watch the channel, so, you know what I'm on about, damn, bro, this is a special song, lyrically, actually, really special, Southern Sun's killing it. Hide away from what the world can do. Changing everyone. Ooh. I know. Okay. Okay. Hide away from the thief of time stealing what is mine. He's saying that when you go out into the world, actually, and you're not hiding away anymore, when you actually step out there and decide to go into the land of conformity, the matrix as we call it, it changes everyone. Because now you're going to experience factors that are outside of yourself that a lot of the time you do not have control over. You're taking the risk by putting yourself in those positions for life experience and for the finding of what it is that you're looking for. But what he's talking about is thinking that he could protect himself by not going out into it and being involved with it, but actually... Not being somewhat inside of the circle is what prevented his intentions. The fear of the rejection, being satisfied with imperfection. Because not being out there in it, right? 
not being out there in it actually is what causes the imperfection. You see what I'm saying? It causes the imperfection. Because if you let those other factors inside of the circle get involved a little bit and open up to them, it opens up opportunities. So now, all of those missed opportunities are stacked up as the imperfections in the hideaway. You see what I'm saying? You have to get out there, and you have to be willing to take the risks, and you have to be willing to associate with people, and to not fear rejection, and to open up to them. And sometimes you might go through terrible situations that cause your heart to be a little bit less open due to those experiences. But what he's saying is, what is a life hidden away inside of imperfection when sometimes stepping inside of the circle will actually be the opportunities that you need? You see what I'm saying? It's a fucking mind fuck when you think about it. Because you do want to protect yourself and you do want to kind of keep to yourself in a lot of instances in life. But if you do it too much and do it too boldly and you don't open up and let things be known and talk to people. You're... It's an oxymoron. Because hide away from the thief of time, stealing what is mine, saying I could waste my time being involved with people and it won't work out and this and that. And now I feel like I wasted time and shit. But actually, the time is being wasted with your imperfections stacked beside you in a hideaway, right? When instead you could be experiencing things. And still learning, even if bad stuff happens from time to time. And hard lessons have to be learned. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's hiding away from what the world can do. And that's changing everyone because you go through things and it changes who you are. And you move different after things happen to you. He's avoiding that because he doesn't want to change. When in reality, changing the movement is what would ultimately benefit it in any scenario, right? This is a wild song on the message, actually. This has a really deep message when you think about the layers inside of the lyrics and all the different things that it alludes to. I like this. Solo here. Watching my best intentions fading away every day. I feel my heart. I love it. Oh, 
yeah, we like that. We like that right there. You guys already know. I don't even have to tell you. You guys know I loved that song. <laughs> that He was riding the China symbol at the end there. That was so heavy the way he switched into riding that big ass China symbol at the end right there. I love the sound of a China symbol. Adds a lot of flair to the heaviness of the backing section in a song. Really awesome approach there at the end on the fade, the acoustic, and then the, yeah, just the, like the singular, like acoustic styling of section right into that heavied up with the China symbol. That was awesome. That was really heavy there, actually. That was super awesome. The meaning of the song is really just stepping outside of your comfort zone and allowing that to, like, guide you forward. Despite your one, you want to hide away and you want to be away from everything, but in the end, that actually causes things to fade because now you're not interacting with your surroundings and stuff like that, and you miss a lot of opportunities and shit. That's what it's talking about, and that involves love. And he's he's just like worried about getting hurt, and it's like the best intentions of a situation can never come to fruition if you're not stepping into that circle a little bit, so to speak. So now they're fading away, and that's what he's talking about. So you have to get out there and be involved and stuff, because it'll teach you lessons, and even if, like I said, bad things can happen, you'll still learn those lessons, and you'll be a better person for the experience of it, despite any little bit of heartache that you might go through inside of it. That's really what I take from this song, and I think that's a really positive message right there. That's a very positive message. But it's written from the perspective of the person that's still stuck inside of it, which makes it sound sad, but when you look at the deeper message of it, it's a really positive message to get out there and show the world what you're made of and not be so scared of rejection and... Don't be satisfied with the imperfections as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. This is really deep. Heidi, thank you for this request. I appreciate stuff like this a lot. You guys know that. The original video for this will be in the description. As always, subscribe to all the artists we have on the channel and pop a like on this video. Bam. John 3.16 says that God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will never die, but have eternal life. I always have to say that whenever that number pops up somewhere, <laughs> every time I see it, I recite that to myself, so you guys just got to see it. I love you guys, thank you for tuning in, thank you for supporting me on my recovery journey, I really enjoyed this song a lot, I think we talked about some really cool stuff in this one, some important stuff to probably help some people that might be scared to put themselves out there and to step into the circles of the world and stuff like that, get out there and show the world what you're made of, man, put yourself inside of them, <laughs> I love you guys means the world to me that you're here. Please go get help if you need it. Live your best life. Chase your dreams. Make that shit come true and inspire other people to do the same thing as you guys have inspired me to do on here. I seriously can't thank you guys enough. We're going to get out of here. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.